Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May we request everyone to be seated as the program will start shortly. May we also request everyone to turn off your cell phones. This afternoon's program will be webcast through the internet and beamed live to various UP campuses, UP Diliman, UP Mindanao, UP Manila, UP Los Banos, UP Visayas in Miagao, Cebu, and Tacloban, and UP Open University. At this point, we would like to acknowledge the presence of UP President Emerlinda R. Roman, the, hon <laughs> the honorable members of the UP Board of Regents, Regent Romulo Davide, <laughs> Faculty Regent Felix Librero, <laughs> and Student Regent Shahana Abdul Wahid. We would also like to greet our other UP system officials and Chancellor Priscilla Macansantos of UP Baguio, <laughs> Chancellor Ray Velasco of UP Los Banos, <laughs> and Chancellor Grace Alfonso of UP Open University. We are acknowledging the officials of the various constituent universities led by their respective chancellors, as well as their faculty, students, research and extension personnel, staff, alumni, and other guests here at UP Baguio and in the other campuses. May I also please acknowledge Regent Nelia Gonzalez, who has just arrived. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Centennial Lecture Series, UP View from Inside. This afternoon's lecture is entitled, Modernity and the UP, the first 100 years. We would like to repeat that all lectures will be beamed live to the following UP campuses, UP Diliman, UP Manila, UP Los Banos, UP Visayas in Miagao, Cebu, and Tacloban, UP Mindanao, and the UP Open University, and webcast through the internet for wider coverage. Again, before we start the program, let me reiterate our request to our audience here at UP Baguio to please turn off your cell phones as even the buzzing sounds from your phones on silent mode will interfere with our sound system. Thank you. Please rise for the Philippine National Anthem. your seats.
Today we hold another important event to celebrate UP Centennial. I think most of you are aware that we have lined up a series of events to mark this important milestone in the life of UP. We are organizing celebration activities, fundraising activities, and activities to promote or project UP to the outside world. But the centerpiece of UP Centennial celebration is actually the UP Centennial Lecture Series. After all, UP is an academic institution and because it is, a good part of commemorating its birthday is to get scholars, experts, and distinguished individuals to share with us their thoughts on UP or their views on burning issues of the day. Four categories make up the lecture series. One set of lectures will be delivered by insiders. They will present to us their views on UP, its successes and achievements, its faults and shortcomings. From them, we will get the view from inside. Another set will be delivered by those who are not part of our community, but who we believe take an interest in our university. They will share with us their insights on our vision, our mission, as they are perceived by the larger community. From them, we will get the view from outside. The third set of lectures will be by experts, both from UP and from other institutions, who will talk about national and global issues such as global warming, poverty alleviation, indigenous peoples, state of Philippine education, status of women, peace and conflict resolution, etc. And finally, for the fourth category, we will feature distinguished individuals who through their life work have attained great distinction in their respective fields. As an institution tasked not just with producing new knowledge and disseminating existing knowledge, but also with the shaping of the minds of a future generation of leaders, we felt it was important for us to have this lecture series and provide our faculty and students with the opportunity to listen to what our scholars, experts, and invited guests have to say. Today, we present to you one of our very own to guide us through a process of self-assessment to give us a view from inside. I wish to thank our speaker for sharing this day with us and to all of you who are here, we are grateful for your presence here today. To introduce this afternoon's Centennial Lecturer, May I call on Professor of Mathematics and Chancellor of the UP Baguio, Dr. Priscilla Macansantos. <laughs> President Roman, honorable members of the Board of Regents of the University of the Philippines, Regents Gonzalez, Davide, Librero, Abdul Wahid, members of the President's Executive Staff, Chancellors Velasco and Alfonso, officials of the UP administration in all constituent universities, our distinguished guests, UC President Edilberto de Jesus, Father Gialipio, our distinguished alumni, members of the faculty, non-academic staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Pibagio is honored to host the 20th lecture in the Centennial Lecture Series. Our lecturer this afternoon is perhaps one of the reasons UP should stand proud as it observes its 100th year. 
because I landed the vid is an icon in and out of the university, establishing a solid reputation as a leading intellectual, media practitioner, political activist, street parliamentarian. Randy David has been with the faculty of UP since 1967 and is currently full professor of the Department of Sociology. He studied sociology at UP Diliman and did graduate work in the same field at the University of Manchester in England. He was for 14 years the first director of the UP Third World Study Center and editor of his journal, Kasarinlan. In 1999, he served in the Board of Regents representing the faculty. Professor David has lectured extensively in the Philippines and abroad, having been visiting professor at the National Autonomous University of Mexico in 1996 and at the Yukoku University in Kyoto, Japan in 1990. He's the author of four books and his essays have appeared in various journals and scholarly publications. Two of his books, Reflection on Sociology and Philippine Society, and Nation, Self, and Citizenship, an Invitation to Philippine Sociology, won the National Book Award in 2002 and 2003, respectively. Recently, the Ateneo de Naga University conferred on him the Doctor of Humanities degree honoris causa for his contributions as a public intellectual. From 1986 to 1999, Randy David wrote and hosted Public Forum, a weekly public affairs talk show on television. Virtually the first of its kind and level of popularity in mainstream television, the program effectively promoted the use of Filipino as a medium for serious political and social discourse. Professor David's work in media earned him many awards from bodies such as the Cultural Center of the Philippines and the Rotary Club of Manila. In 2002 and 2003, the Society of Publishers in Asia cited his Sunday column, Public Lives, for editorial excellence. The Quezon City government conferred on him the Most Outstanding Citizen Award for 2005 in recognition of his work as an educator and a media practitioner. For many of us in the university, we can only wish that even as we attend to our intellectual pursuits, we are also able to participate in the nation's life in a meaningful way. Professor Randy David is among the few who have succeeded in being both intellectual of the highest caliber and crusader. In EDSA II, he was a familiar face among his students and comrades, railing against corruption in government. In February 2006, he was arrested for participating in a demonstration against the abuses and excesses of current national leadership. Incisive and fearless, his analysis of national issues spare no one and nothing and inspire and influence young and mature citizens. To those who would lose heart, he says, and I quote, I never doubted that the situation of our country and our people will get better. Yes, within our own lifetime, unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you Professor Randolph David. Thank you so much, Chancellor Macan Santos.